Greebles. Greebles. You can't pretend like that's not a super fun name to say out loud. Greebles, man, I love it. It completely fits the clown vibe that they're obviously going for for this character. And I really hope that the rest of the clowns from Circus Velocitus that they release have similarly funny names, just goofy, silly names. I was thinking of some examples, like maybe for the Volkswagen bug, you call him Buggy. I don't know, kind of stupid, kind of just easy, but it makes sense. And I don't know if they were kind of going for the Greebles Gremlin, like Greebles the Gremlin, G-R-E, first three letters are the same kind of idea there, but certainly fits. I love it. And welcome back to another review. Of course, Greebles here is, in my opinion, completely up to you guys, but is my favorite release of 2022 Singles Case M, which I just unboxed. I'll leave the link for it in the description below and card session pop up in the top right hand corner. Definitely check it out. There are some really good cars in that case that I will be reviewing soon as well, like Dats Jammin and Revo Koss. The case also has some good stuff that you might have missed from previous cases like Royce Revsley, Griswold, or even Jonathan Wrenchworths from the first Cars movie. Now, Greebles is a gremlin, as we've already established, and I just want to get this criticism out of the way because I really, really love this character. I love the release. So the only criticism is that on his art right here, which looks nice, the gaps and cracks in his teeth are the exact same as on Grem, like literally Grem from Cars 2, the bad guy. So I'm going to position it here. So when I put Grem, a picture of him on the screen, you could see that the teeth's imperfections are the same. However, the shape and size of them are not the same. It's a completely different rendering, which to me is mind boggling because if you're going to reanimate it for Greebles, Shouldn't it look different? Like, shouldn't it be easy to make him look different? Now, we don't see his mouth on the die cast, and I'm not, I'll have to look from the short, or the episode rather, how his teeth look, if we can discern them, if this is accurate to the show. But it's just odd, because these teeth are very blocky, they look bigger, whereas Grems are very slim and they look sharper, longer. So I don't know, it's kind of strange to me, but I did want to get that criticism out of the way. It's something that Pixar clearly just, I don't know, they reanimated it and they just kept the teeth kind of in the same way, but in Greebles kind of more goofy, pronounced, exaggerated way. You know, his eyes are bigger, his teeth are bigger. Who knows? I'm not sure. It's just kind of the clown look where everything is Pronounce. But yeah, guys, I want to get that out of the way because this truly is one of my favorite all-time releases of the year. I absolutely love that they're using the Gremlin model again. I hope that this opens the door for them to, you know, whether it be re-release Grem or Toga Gremlin or J. Kirby Gremlin from Thailand, because that would be, you know, some of the first lemons we get from Thailand. Or release new characters from Cars 2, new Gremlins, like the blue Gremlin that spoke with the headset. And we never got him, the blue one from London. Yeah, so all right, we're going to focus on Greebles here. He was first shown at the San Diego Comic-Con. You do see him at their on-the-road booth. He does have like a little prototype stamp on him though. So this is the first time, you know, we're obviously seeing him pure. New for 2022, obviously, he's in the Showtime episode, the fifth episode of Cars on the Road, where McQueen, Mater, and Ivy visit Circus Velocitus. Cars on the road. I love the art. So now everyone can start to guess what the cars art or the cars card backs for the diecast mainline will look like for 2023. It'd be kind of weird. I feel like they might keep these on the road packages because they just debuted them in case K. So it'd be weird if they just literally use them for about 10 different singles. You know, they did McQueen, Mather, Speed Demon, Griswold, Royce Revsley, Cruz. Noriyuki, definitely skipped one. Okay, Pillar Derev, Revo Kostach, Jam and Greebles here. What's that, like 12 different characters that they did this single artwork for? It just feel weird if they botched that and came up with something entirely new for 2023. I feel like you have to come up with something new to replace this, the Red Riders packaging, but maybe you could still keep these the way they are. Who knows? I certainly don't. <laughs> Although I feel like I've been saying this for a while, but I'm feeling a green theme. You know, we had blue in 2020, 
we kind of had like that desert theme in 2021. Then we had red this year. Maybe next year we go for green. I think it'd be maybe like a more of a forest dark green type thing, not like a lime green. I don't know. It could be. I just think that would be fun. Anyways, as seen in cars on the road, you have Racing Center Cruise, you have Road Trip McQueen, Dats Jam and Revo Cost. I just showed you them. Noriyuki is also now out as a single in this case. There are two of him. There are two of Dats, but there's only one each of Revo and Greebles. But Noriyuki is also available in that two-pack with Sarah Coggs, as Dats Jammin is in a two-pack with Royce Revsley, but isn't a standard two-pack. It's one of the Walmart ones with all the accessories and whatnot. But yeah, it's really nice to see these prototype stock images on the back here. They all look so good. And yeah, Dats just looks so shiny. But even though Dats is pretty cool, I deemed Greebles to be the first one to unbox from this case. And let's do exactly that. Let's bust them open. You're cute, man. Truly adorable. I really, really do like this die cast. And let me show you where he appears in Showtime, the fifth episode of Cars on the Road. Now, he pops up multiple times, as most of the clowns do, you know, whether it be in the performance. And they establish like 20 clowns. I do like this. They establish their main group and they use them very effectively multiple times during the episode. So Greebles is one of the clowns to initially pop in to visit McQueen and Mater as they enter. And he also, luckily enough, is one to kind of harass McQueen a bit and taunt him on the stands there. He kind of snarls along with the Denise Beam clown, I think it was, when Mater's like, they'll drag you back. And he just is like, yeah, in his expression, he's basically like, yeah, I will drag you back because I got that dog in me. Or in the Cars world, I got that gremlin in me, you know? He honestly gives such a gremlin grimace to McQueen. It looks just like all the gremlins did in Cars 2. I really do like that. And almost wonder if they were like, all right, so we have to have a couple clowns, scowl at McQueen on the stands here. Let's have the Denise Beam one. And let's do, I don't know, the minivan one. And then somebody was like, hold on, this is a good opportunity to use the gremlin clown because he's actually like scary. And everyone remembers that from Cars too. Like it's a good opportunity to remind everyone that the gremlins were the bad guys or a part of the lemons in Cars 2. I don't know. I wonder if they did that intentionally. They're like, we're using this guy and we're going to make him grimace as if he you know, came out of Cars 2. But yeah. Really, really nice, and yeah, let's just get right into the review. Now, some people have criticized poor Greebles for having too big of eyes, and I honestly don't mind the eyes at all. I think he has a nice expression. You know, he's not actually smiling. He's frowning. You can see the line right there is pointed downwards, so poor Greebles. I don't know. He must be offset or something. He must <laughs> not be having a good moment. There is a little bit of gunk right here on his roof. That is not ideal. I was already upset about opening this one because it was on perfect card. And now there's like a little piece of gunk right there. Aw, oh well, it's not that noticeable. As long as it's not a chip. But yeah, I will compare Greebles to other Gremlins here in a moment because I know everybody's thinking like, is it the exact same model? How different is it? You know, of course, this is our first Thailand Gremlin, so a lot of those questions are still out there. But yeah. I think his eyes are fine and everything, as I talked about before, is a little bit more pronounced as a clown. You know, you're trying to like distort and exaggerate the human properties in a circus sometimes. So you have the gremlin text right there. I love that. Of course, you have a plastic nose, the plastic red nose, which is inserted into the main metal body. He's got a nice intake here. Really nice glossy paint finish to him. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is this mouth plate here. You can see the main metal body and this plastic mouth plate separated by that crack there. And yeah, I don't know why they're using a mouth plate here. They rarely use mouth plates these days at all. Like they barely ever pull out this trick. <laughs> and it was pretty much back in the day used so they could exchange new expressions on the mouth easily. And they just don't do that anymore. 
I think they found a cheaper way around it. They could just make a new mold. And I feel like that's cheaper instead of switching out the miles because it adds an extra step. But yeah, they are doing it here. And so I'm not a big fan of that, but maybe it means they plan to make more gremlins. But then again, they'd have to change a lot of other things here, like the intake and of course the hole where the nose goes. So I don't really know what that's all about, but there you have it. He's got yellow wheels, and these are like the same wheels that the Gremlins had, and I'll show you guys that in a second. I love his pink side view mirrors. Nice roof rack there, very textured, and he even has this part of the roof rack. So interesting. Yeah, we'll have to revisit that, but he's got this back guard for the roof rack. So this part differentiates itself quite a bit from the roof racks on the regular Gremlins. He's got a nice... Typical kind of circus clown design with the pink, purple, yellow swirls, stripes, all that. You have gremlin text there again. Door handle, a little black. Maybe that's a light back there, not sure. Ooh, the taillights look interesting. They're very indented there. They sit, look at that. Look at that massive cavity they carved out for the taillights. Yeah, that's another difference. So keep that in mind when we bring the other gremlins in for comparison. But let's take a look at all this other text here. B09-25P. So somebody's birthday is September 25th, BP. Those must be the initials. I can't read the text above it, but you have AMC over here on the left. I'm not sure what it reads over here. That looks like S Lotus or something like that. I'm sure you could Google what that was because it would represent a real gremlin. I wonder if this guy struggles, if poor Greebles is a lemon, like does he truly break down a lot? R33A means he was produced during the 33rd week of 2022 at the A factory. Now, another thing I love about him is that he's kind of on a downcline here or an incline, whichever way you look at it. Like this, he's pointed downward because the back wheels are, first of all, they're larger than the front tires. Back tires are larger than the front tires and he's hoisted up a little bit more. So another kind of clown type. I feel like that just is because he's a clown. They wanted to make the gremlin like, of course he has the intake and he's pushed up a little bit to make him, I don't know, maybe look more like a drag racer because I think that's kind of a drag racing type thing or just to make him look a little bit more unique for the circus. Again, distorting and just changing, pronouncing some of those tendencies or externalities extremities that well a human like would translate to you know instead of having like giant hands i don't know you have like bigger tires in the back i don't know that's kind of the vibe i'm getting here but yeah i love the look of him like you got the red paint in the front his paint job matches this pity here this circus stunt performer pity that we got in the four pack a couple month and a half ago or so and this is notable because not all of the Cars that work at Circus Velocitas have like similar paint jobs like this. Now, Greebles doesn't have any polka dots, but they do both, you know, have the same kind of purple pink swirl action with the lipstick around the mouth and the red nose. But then you pull up Kate Pillar Drev here, who has a completely different design. Now, obviously, she is one of the ringmasters of the show, so she's not going to be kind of dressed like a clown, but then you also bring the biplane. That was released in the four pack as well with the pity and yeah this guy doesn't have any design any resemblance to either the gremlin or this pity you know he's got this kind of like tiger stripe design and this diamond pattern toward his back which some of the other clowns have so some of the clowns look more like this and then some of them look more like this. So I do like that they differentiated that and didn't make all of them very uniform. And then you even have Holm Haynes who has a completely different design as well. This is the plastic version from the Showtime Loop playset. And that is also where Ivy came from. And I just realized that Ivy's kind of like quote unquote flame design on her sides here, this right here, is very similar to, well, Sterling's design. Like look at that, it's kind of the same pattern there just in different colors and same thing with the plane so i don't know that's a little lazy because they must have like teed it up they're like all right we're going to make ivy already look like she fits in with the circus because of course she didn't start there she ended up there and she just happened to kind of match their paint scheme so i don't know a little disappointed about that honestly but not that big of a deal 
And all right, let's zoom back out here, please. Can I zoom back out? Yes, I can. All right, let's bring in some of the other gremlins, of course, starting with the man himself, Grem. So it looks like they are pretty much the same size now. Again, this guy looks taller because of the back there. They did use a mouth plate on Grem, but this is an older one, and they stopped using the mouth plates once they got to the later Gremlins. Yeah, this is a 2011 Grem. This is like my first Grem. <laughs> my first Grem. It's funny to think about it like that. It's like my first kiss. <laughs> it's my first Grem. But yeah, a lot of changes here with the Gremlin model. I'll start with the roof rack here. You can see that they have the ridges on the body, which they have here, but they also have this plastic bar going all around and two in the back, whereas here you just get that one almost looking like a spoiler here in the back. I'll have to look. You know, you guys can make the judgment how accurate that is to the episode or if they kind of skimped out on it. But they do have the gremlin text in the same spot there on the hood and on the sides. AMC here on the back. Same text on the right side as well. But again, with the taillights, as I mentioned, they are just kind of like painted on as a decal right here. And this is actually a plastic piece, not a part of the main metal body. So that's, yeah, that's kind of interesting. That's like a plastic piece, not even a part of the base. It's like a part of the bumper. Oh, very interesting. But yeah, you can see that they changed up the model a little bit, made these taillights and the whole back portion here, the whole trunk part of the main body. And wow, I absolutely love how they did the taillights. Like, they just look so realistic with how pronounced the cavities are. So that's pretty cool. You can see that the tires or well, the wheels are pretty similar. I guess I spoke a little too soon. They are a little different with the spokes and everything, but they give off pretty much the same look. The windshields are different there. Here you can see this is another plastic inserted piece, not a part of the main metal body, whereas here they just standardize it all. I mean, that really does sound like the easiest thing to do. Like if you could reduce the amount of pieces that need to go in for a car, that sounds like the cheapest way to do it. And so if I were to guess here, you have your base, you have your front bumper here, you have the red nose, and you have like your interior piece. And that's pretty much all you needed for this. Oh. Well, the bumper is a plastic piece here as well because you can see it's attached to the main body. It's not attached to the base. Interesting. I wonder who makes the decisions and who like engineers all the cars to make them as cost effective as possible. That'd be a tough job to have. All right, let's go chronologically. The next Gremlin release would be Tyler Gremlin here. So he's really just a repaint of Grem in red with a different expression. So who is the believer that they actually, like Greebles is actually one of the lemons now who, I don't know whether escaped from prison or just got released from prison and is moving on with his life. Like who truly believes that? By the way, here is Don Kremlin and he is the first gremlin to not have that mouth plate and also not to have the eye plate. Like this is also a part of the main body now. Whereas with Tyler and Grem, those are plastic pieces. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like Greebles, but the roof rack's still different and same thing with the taillights back here as well. Don Crumlin's kind of a forlorn release, not gonna lie. You have Jay Kirby Gremlin. This guy's actually pretty rare. He was only released in 2013, which is pretty insane. I can't believe, you know, for a character that's relatively prominent, they only released him once. They released the other Lemonheads far more, like Vladimir, Victor, and Tubbs, and all of those guys got, well, except for Victor, but Tubbs and Vladimir got variants, whether it be with car boots or the paint spray or whatever. Here you have Stefan Gremsky, one of the gremlins with the torches. These were so cool. Both Stefan and Toga came out in 2016. This guy was in case D, and I think this one was in like T maybe? He was in one of the final cases of the year. I think he was, yeah, Stefan was in like D with Sedano, Skinian, Break Boyd, and some other good releases. 2016 was such a good year for the Cars line. So yeah, you guys think that's like a lot of Gremlins, but it's really only six. 
and there were like hundreds in cars too that they could have released and they really kind of squandered a lot of opportunities there but who's to say they can't revisit it it has been a very long time since they've released a lemon period you know whether it be a pacer trunk of hugo or gremlin they have not released really any at all over the last six years which is kind of sad because i'd love to see some more characters like this and honestly even a grem or acer re-release would be pretty cool but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below which clown from showtime would you like to see released next whether it be the minivan the who else the citroen i want to see the citroen personally but all of them, honestly, I'd be down for. So yeah, thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon for another sexy review. Bye now.